Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I will show you how to make a simple click to move script where you can uh, pick a specific target in this case here if I take the white I can move it up here I can take the red move it over here and I can pick the blue and move it over here yeah that's uh, what I will show you today let's get to it So let's start, up, start to set up the UI and first let's make a background. Here I will just use a simple uh, white square. Let's make it green so it looks like uh, some grass or ground. And let's scale it up like this and move it to a zero, zero, zero like this and then add uh, the player in this case i will just use this the circle knob here let's scale it up with five five and make this one blue let's move down here remember the order and layer to move it above the other one i don't know why the set is zero Remember to have the, the set on zero and then order and layer should just be higher in the one here we can call ground and there it's zero. This one can be our player one. Let's add a circle collider 2D. Let's add a rigid body 2D and remember to remove the gravity scale. Now you can simply just copy this one move it over here call this player 2 make it red uh, player 2 sorry and copy it one more time add it player 3 and let's make this one yellow and then we need a empty object and this will just be a controller to control what target you are uh, clicking on so let's call it controller. Yes. Now let's create the script. Create new C sharp ship and call it click to move script. Attach it to your controller. And open it up in Visual Studio. And here we'll the first thing you will need to do is to find the target. So let's make a public game object call our target. And here we will use a array cast. So in the update we can say if input dot get mouse button down and here we'll have mouse button zero. Zero is the left mouse button and if you choose one it will be the right mouse button so if this is the case we we'll need a vector 2 and here we will call the ray cast position and this is equal to our camera dot main dot screen to world point and what is the the world point that is of course our input dot mouse position so the race cast position is equal to where your mouse position is and then we need the hit when you are clicking so the ray cast hit 2d and we call it hit is equal to physics 2d Dot raycast and here we need the raycast position and then vector 2 dot zero so this will just the set position is just set to zero then if our hit dot collider isn't null 
then we can say if the hit dot collider dot game object dot tag is equal to our player. So when we click and we and and we hit something, and if the thing thing we hit is the player, then the target we have up here, the target game object, will be equal to the hit dot collider dot game object. So let me show you what we did. Save it, head back to Unity. And on your controller here, you can see we have a target now. Remember player one, two, and three, and tag them as player. It should be in uh, the default one. It's If it's not, just add the tag. So if you hit play now, and take your controller, you can see it's switching to player one, player two, player three. So now we have selected our object. So now let's move them. And here we will have to add some more. We'll need a public float. No, not a goat. <laughs> a float for speed. And we need a public vector 3 for move to position. And our move to position will be equal to our transform.position. And then we will need another if statement here. And here we can say if input dot get mouse button down. And again, it in this case, I will use left mouse button. Then move to position is equal to camera.main.screen to world point and again we will take in our input.mouse position and then we need to say our move to position is equal to transform.position.set ah, sorry move position.set oh set like this and then we need to check if our target isn't null so when we click around if we haven't clicked a target then it will not execute this code but if we have clicked a target then target dot transform dot position is equal to vector three. Uh, sorry, vector three dot move towards, and where do we want to move to? Or from? Sorry, we will start. We will move from our target dot transform dot position, and then we will move to our move position, and we will do it with our speed times time dot delta time like this so if we save this and head back to unity remember on your controller to set the speed i'll just set it to three let's hit the play button now if i select the blue one should be able to click why can't i do that what about the red one nope you probably figured this out when you saw me do it. Uh, this if statement we need to put outside of here. So, so your code should look like this. So save it and head back to Unity. And now when you hit play. And then it should work like this and you can now take the red one move it around take the green one and move it around yeah that was what i had to to show you in uh, this tutorial sorry a lot for uh, for the small mistakes um 
And uh, if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the like and subscribe button below.